might want to buckle up, baby. And now get ready for WTF. You want to prove once for all that I'm better than you? Strap up. Bring it on, big brother Tim, man. Whose take is first? Brought to you by TireOutlet.com. Wholesale prices, premium service. A lot of talk going on here in oh, the uh, break. Yeah, talk a lot. You might a imagine. lot. I was going to also, when we were headed to break, I didn't have time to tell the story, but this is my knowledge of art, okay? You know, you talk about art, and this is something that I, I really know nothing about art. But when we went to Spain to visit my daughter, who was over there for a year, we were in Madrid, and Madrid has this hugely, like, people know about this uh, art museum. museum that they have there. Sure. So my we daughter's had, been there. Right. So we had to go, I think it. I don't even know the name of it. I have no idea. <laughs> but anyway, it's called oh, Louvre. It's, no, it's no. Uh, is it's it Prado? Prado? Yeah. Is that it? Museo Nacional del Prado. But it has like all these famous art pieces and sure. such. There's a lot so of famous like our, Spanish so artists. Me and 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 Brooks you should have gotten Picasso and Reagan. Were, so we go to this art museum, and I mean, they're the most boring places. Dude, on I was. To me, I, I, to I me mean, they are. I just I I've can't been, do it. I mean, I went to the Hockey Hall of Fame, yeah, and baseball. I mean, it's <laughs> awesome. I don't, I, I don't mind the, a museum. And it's this museum of these art yeah, relics, and a, yeah. it doesn't. And 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 Nothing so for me. my daughter uh, had been to um, had been to Italy with this uh, uh, a wonderful family, who uh, the mom is a professor of art history or something, and. She was going to Madrid specifically to walk through, and that was like her Shangri-La. So I respect the fact that some people, you know, like it was the greatest place ever, and I'm looking at like painting after painting, I see uh, nothing different. I'm like, can we go? I'm hungry. Let's go get some, you know, (laughs) paella. So it's just funny how you different. You you know, know, it's funny you you say that too because, you know, I went down to spend a day with my daughter in Gainesville, you know, just last semester, last, you know, in the spring, Mm -hmm. and – we we were looking for something to do, and we did, but we didn't do. We did the museum. We went to, like I like a regular museum. I got we went to the yeah. Museum of Natural History, and that right. was kind of cool. Right. Spent, that one's good. Spent a couple hours, but I had no interest at all in going to an art museum. I mean, I don't appreciate it a bit. I mean, I just don't. I, art I, appreciation. I, I can't imagine the the values of these paintings that I feel like a fifth grader could do if you give them you know a couple hours and some paints. So, which I know is a very the only one I flawed, like flawed, uh, is the uh, Comer vision because it's it's got the gardens and it's right on the river and it's beautiful. Yeah. I just don't appreciate art. That's it. End of story. Yeah, yeah, that's why I like the outside area. Yeah, yeah. Versus the museum. Part. I went to a wedding at the Comer once. I thought. I think. Yeah, didn't I, my, wasn't my reception there? Or that's no? what it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to <laughs> ask. Like was it my reception there? I think like it was. Oh, it is, yeah. it is reception. Yeah. Poor mom had broken arms. That's what I Two remember. Two broken arms. My poor mother had. She had just got. Sweet she Nancy. was in Europe. I was walking along the sidewalk, Fell. and your periphery tells you every time there's a tree that the, the edge is coming. Well, they, they have a tree, and she didn't notice, and she fell in Spain and broke both her arms. Yes. God bless her. She's like, I don't even want to think about all the things you can't do with two broken arms, and who must have to do them. Did you dance with her? Shout out I to did, yeah. I did, yeah. I danced with her. Yes, he did. Sweet Nancy and I. Correct. Shall we dance? In the yeah. moonlight, out by the mountain yeah. for some reason. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. It's wrong. It just struck me. Nick, we're all dancing yeah. inside. No, no, hey. I'm out here. I'm They're fine. out there with the azaleas for Pete's Got sake. the stink eye from home. <laughs> Looking at Dali paintings and Picassos. <laughs> He's a cultured man. All right. This, these uh, takes are not hot at all. They're <laughs> ice cold. As always, we encourage the Googies to share their takes. Uh, sure we on do. On the text line driven by Duval Ford, 641-1010. One lucky texter will win our uh, prize today, which is two tickets for 10 XL night coming up at the Alhambra All right. uh, next yeah. week, a week from tonight, October 10th. It'll include dining and a uh, night of music from Tennessee River, the Alabama tribute band. Let me hijack uh, before you ask the question because I, you, I saw this, and I've been meaning to ask you two NBA fans, Yes, and I keep forgetting, and so it's in front of me. I'm going to just ask you real quick. Do it. Why in the world would the Bucks not trade Chris Middleton for Jimmy Butler? Like the T Wolves offer Jimmy Butler for Chris Middleton. If you're the Bucks, how in the world do you not make that deal? I don't know. And, That's a good question. Right? But I me? would. Yeah, I would do it. Right. I don't. Anyway. Did I hear correctly yesterday? Speaking of trades, uh, and we may have to research this beef, but did I hear that Kobe Bryant at one time wanted out of L.A.? Yeah, he wanted to go to the Bulls. He wanted to go to the Bulls, and the Correct. Bulls would not trade Luol Dang. It was a package that centered around Dang, yeah. I kind of remember that as it happened, right? Yeah. That was public at the time, wasn't it? Was it was dumb as hell. <laughs> Isn't Luau Dang currently on the Lakers? No, he's not anymore. They bought him out. Wait, so you're telling me 
whatever was on the Bulls at that time was better. Was better than Kobe Bryant. Better than the Mamba. <laughs> wow. I mean, there was a story in like ESPN magazine that he was at like a like a, a you know like a beachside like ballpark, and somebody saw it and said, you know, during the Aussies, like, what are you doing? He said, we're going to Chicago. Like he was he was he was all in. Uh, but anyways, the uh, take for the morning. For By the way, Chris Middleton's a pretty good player. Twenty points a game last no, year. No, he's good, but yeah. he's still he's also Five a rebounds. bigger player. You could, you know, Butler yeah. fits with them better to me. Six eight, and he's uh, the same size. Six eight. Yeah, but Butler Middleton is a back to it was, yeah yeah you know yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. Just, he's more Otis Thorpe and Jimmy Butler's more you know yeah. Dwayne Wade. Okay. Go ahead. The, I'm uh, sorry. Just dropped a Otis Thorpe on you. That was nice. College, please. Um, Providence. Greatest moment of Otis Thorpe's life was yeah, right? he was the uh, he was the piece in the uh, the infamous Darko trade. <laughs> kind of past, yeah, Providence, very nice. Yeah, past NBA I'm good at that game. trades. Mm-hmm. If there was a trivia game where you did all my modders, I, I might could win some money. All right, let's go. Ultimately, we're focused on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. and we're out of time. It's a freedom. Of money. Oh. No, but uh, you know, you, you talked about it's a marquee matchup. It won't be flexed into nighttime, but it's still it's the marquee game of the week, especially in the AFC. Mm-hmm. It's two powerhouses. But you know, CBS Sports, uh, John Breach, he did his kind of weekly. He picks a handful of games, and he sort of presented the Jaguars winning in Kansas City as as some kind of upset. I guess the question is, is that a little disrespectful to Jacksonville to consider it an upset to go into Kansas City and win? I don't think so. I mean, Kansas City's three point favorites. Uh, they're they're doing things offensively that are very impressive. They are undefeated. Um, you know, the Jags have lost one game at home. So I think they're two elite teams in the AFC who could very well meet again in January. So I, no, it doesn't bother me. And in fact, if I'm Doug Marone and I'm looking to push buttons, I'd let it bother me a little bit. And I tell the fellas, are you kidding me? Well, we I mean, are underdogs here. Yeah. What, what's the deal? Uh, you know, I, <laughs> we went to the AFC championship game last year. They lose in the playoffs in the first round at home. We should be the ones who are fa- – and I would try to use that, but deep deep down inside, whenever you watch a great offense, Jeff, you you you, you think the, of them as unstoppable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and they, they, so, Which is so, very false logic, by it the is way. False logic. More on that in, in just a second. But, I mean, by any measurement, you're playing an undefeated team in their place as the betting spread underdog. Yeah, it would be an upset if you won. That's, that's not a – that's no slight. I mean – at the end of the day, an upset is defined by who's the betting favorite and nothing else. I mean, you can put other parameters on it, but at the end of the day, if the Chiefs are favored by three and the Jags win, it's an upset. But the odds are uh, in history are heavily stacked in, in Jacksonville's favor. You can't find, because there's probably been too many to note everyone, number one scoring offense against number one scoring defense in NFL history, but we can use the Super Bowl – as a barometer, and I think that Jacksonville and Kansas City fit that kind of mold, the kind of team that that comparison um, would apply to. Six times the number one scoring defense has met this number one scoring offense in the Super Bowl, and five times the number one scoring defense has won. I had De- seven times. Okay, I had six. Maybe okay. was there another one in the last year? I got Seahawks Broncos as the last. No, one. there's been one since then. It was okay. the Falcons and the Patriots. Giants beating the Bills. I got that one. Uh, Niners the beating the Broncos. That's the offense wins. That was the offense one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Niners Dolphins. That's the defense of the Niners defense winning. Defense one. Uh, Steelers Cowboys. That's the defense of the Steelers, Steelers winning. One. Uh, and then the first couple were uh, Packers Chiefs and Chiefs Vikings. They then they were using a different parameter. They must have done since a right. certain time. Generally speaking, though, I agree. And yeah. that's the neat thing about it. Generally speaking, and that's where the phrase comes, defense wins championships. Uh, generally speaking, the defense will win. You know, it's interesting. The difference, too, between the points scored and the points allowed is the same for both teams. In other words, Kansas City's getting 36 a game, but they're giving up 28. Right, eight. The, the Jags are giving up 14, but they're only scoring 22. Eight, yeah. So, it's a, you know, it's, it's a really, really – Awesome. Very intriguing. Early season blockbuster Fun. game. Yeah. Fun game. And, yeah. and you, and like I said, they all know it. They all know it's a big game in that respect. So they all 
want to bring their A game. And to I the, think the, the fact the that it, I, I think it it adds to it that it's not just a matchup of two really good teams. It is the number one offense against the number one defense. That storyline is going to develop even more moving forward. By the time we get to the weekend oh, yeah. on CBS's NFL Today, that's going to be their hook. That's going to be what they're they're selling as the most interesting part of this game. Am I a bad fan? To exhale and say, I'm kind of glad, and this doesn't, you know, is it apply to you, but am I a bad fan to kind of exhale and just kind of be glad we got a road game? No, you're not a bad <laughs> fan. Right, I think everybody stadium three weeks in a yeah, row, I'm ready I, just to watch it on TV. I think especially the ones who have been outside in that heat yeah. the last three weeks in a yeah. row, you know, we obviously have air conditioning somewhat in the press box, but yeah, I think it's taken a toll out of everybody. It's so just the it's day. Nice. It's, a, you know, stacking three in a row is, I think, yeah. as hard on us as it is on the Jags themselves. But um, some people will be heading out on the yeah, road. Some people will be in Kansas City. Yeah. Yeah. I just like the Jags. I got to keep playing. He'll curse it up with the taxi drivers there. And then. Oh, yeah. We'll be celebrating my grandfather's 97th birthday on Sunday. So I'll be multitasking. Wow. That's game good watching for and him. 97 yeah. strong. Yeah. Uh, last time Hick went to Kansas City, he, he just uh, he, he about bankrupted one of those little casino cruise ships. Remember that? Took a lot of cash. Yeah. He sat down and played blackjack. Didn't know what the hell he was doing. He walked away with fists full of dollars. We hours so in the morning. As it's soon fantastic. as the plane lands, you'll be going where to, to the watch casino. the game. Yeah. Well, as soon as the plane lands, I think I have to go to the hotel bar. To watch the game, okay. Yeah, I don't have many options. At least it's a CBS Showtime. game. It should be easy to get on. Yes. Like, you know, if you're watching, trying to get Vandy on the SEC network, you can you can get screwed, but yeah. you should be okay out there. Do you have a, a Gator contingent? Who do you watch a game with? Fran? Do you watch it with anyone? Or I'll Frank prob- and Hayes, right? Yeah, they'll probably be, yeah. Well, Hayes goes on every trip? Well, he goes, yes. He just oh. doesn't go on the Jaguars plane, but yes, he goes oh, on every road game. Except smart, London. If he's smart, he'll go early. So he can watch the whole game. Wow. Exactly. But we'll see. It'll be fun. Yeah, I, look, I look forward yeah, to it. Yeah, Hayes will do that. He'll, he'll be smarter than that. I'll look forward to uh, look Hayes forward a to Gator, Sunday. isn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. It'll, it'll be good. It'll be good, and uh, I, I can't wait. I All can't right, wait well, let's uh, do this. It's a Freedom Boat Club Wednesday. Let's uh, take a, a short break. We'll see what's trending uh, coming up. All We're right. going to talk some uh, golf. We don't have, you know, brunch of the tour per se, but uh, put a final capper on the on the Ryder Cup and the golf season. You know, the golf season starts this week. <laughs> What? Yeah, they play the Safeway. Maybe it's next week. A new year? Yeah, and Mickelson's playing. I mean, there's guys playing. Got to get some points for the President's <laughs> Cup. <laughs> uh, this is the drill.